All right. So you know how this works, right? You send in something that caught your eye and we, well, we kind of take a deep dive into it, see what's really going on beneath the surface. Exactly. Unpack it a bit. Yep. And this time around, we're talking about celebrities at the Eras Tour. You know, Taylor Swift's big shebang. Someone sent in this article all about Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds showing up, not just once, but like two nights in a row for the New Orleans shows. Now that's dedication or uh, maybe something else. I guess that's what we're here to figure out. Yeah. Is it just about liking the music or is there something more, you know, something about like how celebs are showing their fandom these days? That's a great point. I mean, think about it. Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, they could be anywhere, literally anywhere. Private islands, you know, sipping fancy drinks. Yeah. But they chose to be in that stadium yeah. with thousands of screaming fans. And not just like blending in. Yeah. The article said Blake Lively was decked out, sequins, you know, the whole nine yards, mm. even had like a microphone purse. Which kind of makes you think, right? Is it pure love for Taylor Swift? Or is there a bit of a performance happening too? Like, hey, world, look how down to earth and cool I am. It's a good question because let's be real. A picture of Blake Lively at a Taylor Swift concert. Mm -hmm. That's going to go viral. Everyone's going to be talking about it. And speaking of going viral, the article mentioned this TikTok video. Apparently it blew up online, showed them just like jamming out, having a blast. Ah, see, that's social media for you. Suddenly, this concert experience becomes something we're all kind of part of, even if we weren't actually in New Orleans. Right. You're right there with them, in a way. Or at least, you know, on your phone, watching their Instagram story. It's interesting, right? Like, we want to connect with these celebrities, even if it's just this, you know, one-sided thing. But here's the thing that really got me. They brought their kid. The article said they had their little one all dressed up, too, like a mini Swifty. That's kind of adorable. And it makes them seem so, I don't know, normal. They're not just these Hollywood figures anymore. They're parents doing parent things. Exactly. It makes you realize they have these whole lives outside of the red carpets and movies. It's like that juggling act so many of us know, right? Work, family, finding time for yourself. It's kind of reassuring to see that even celebrities deal with that. And while we're talking about Taylor Swift, can we just for a second talk about how genius she is? This whole era's tour, it's nonstop surprises. You never know what's going to happen next. The article mentioned that, too, how she keeps everyone guessing. Oh, absolutely. It's like she's always one step ahead, constantly innovating, you know, keeping the fans on the edge of their seats. And it works. It creates this buzz, this excitement that you just don't get with other artists. It's true. So I guess what we've learned here is that a simple article about some celebs at a concert can actually be about like way more. Right. We're talking about how celebrity is changing, fandom in the digital age, even a little bit about work-life balance. Who knew? And the big question, the one we'll leave you with is this. Does seeing, you know, big names like Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds at the Eras Tour, does it make you more likely to go? Mm -hmm. Or maybe less so? Something to think about, isn't it? We've done our deep dive, now it's your turn. What's next on your list to explore? Keep those curiosity engines running. We'll be here ready to dive into whatever you throw our way. Catch you next time. See you then. Bye.